Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Guru Nata and in this video first we will understand about the lookup component and its working process. And after that we are going to see some real time example on lookup component. So guys, before we get started, I would like to request you guys that if you are new to my channel, then please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with my latest uploaded videos on MSBI and Power BI. Yes, in this channel, I'm going to upload more and more MSBI and Power BI videos. And if you really like our content of this video, then show us your love by liking this video because your one subscribe and one like of this video really motivate us to create more and more videos on MSPI and Power BI. Now guys, without wasting any time further, let's get back to our topic. So first, let's talk about lookup component. So as you can see that guys, in simple words, if you want to understand the lookup component, then guys, lookup component is a simple transformation component. Yes, it is very useful component in data transformation. So why it is very useful? because it help us to look up the source data. So let's suppose you have a source input data. Okay, guys. So it help us the lookup component help us to look up that source data against your master reference data or master reference table. Okay, and it filter out the matching. It also filter out the matching and unmatching records. So it has two outputs one is the matching output and another one is non matching output so whatever matching output is there so that you can dump it to your destination table okay so i will repeat one more time guys so whatever source data is there your input source data and in that source data suppose if you have a column called city okay and your requirement is that you need a city foreign key id okay and this is your master table for city consider that city master table and in this you have the primary key and the city name okay now you can see that your city name is here and your city name is here and you need a city foreign key id in your destination table so the lookup component is the only component as a SSIS transformation component which help us to do this job because it has the capabilities to look up the input source data and it will look up the column which you want to match with your referenced master table that is our city table and whatever the data column is been matching there so it will match it and it will give you the necessary column which you want in your destination column okay so suppose my city is mumbai and if my city is also matching with my master table city master table mumbai and suppose if my mumbai primary key is one okay so this matching will happen and this matching will be done by the lookup component okay then it will take that one it will give back as a matching output to the destination table okay so this is how this whole lookup operation works this is the working process of the lookup component now let's understand the same example with the real time example so you can see that guys this is my real time example so let's understand the same lookup working process with a real time example okay so hey guys as you can see that this is my live uh, example and this same live example i am going to demonstrate in a practical way also so first let's understand this live example so as you can see that this is my source data this is my source input data which is a csv file okay and we have a reference table here you can consider this reference table as a customer table okay customer master table and we have a destination table okay you can consider this destination table name as a fact table okay okay and you can see that in my fact table my requirement is that we need a customer foreign key id okay so let's consider only for one column first 
so you can see that my requirement is that we need a customer foreign key id and you can see that my customer primary key id is in my reference table that is in my customer master table now what i want in my destination table is a foreign key id right but if you see my customer name is is a string type here that is the customer names over here so there is no foreign key id here as such so if we try to dump this data directly into this destination table definitely it will create an error right so now to do this job means what job so we need a customer foreign key id from the customer name so we want some mechanism that can match that customer name with the customer master table customer name and it should give us a primary key id which in return we are going to insert in our fact table as a foreign key id so that mechanism that component is nothing but a lookup component a lookup data transformation component which help us to do that job okay so now you have understood the problem and now you understood the solution also so if you have such scenario in that scenario you can use this lookup component so the job of lookup component to take the input source data and match with the reference table column and give us the matching output and non matching output okay so matching records and unmatching records so you can uh, redirect the unmatching records to the another table or to some another file also and you can keep only the matching records to your destination table okay guys so this is the working process of this lookup component and in this scenario lookup component fits very well so now guys what we will do let's see the same example in a practical way step by step so let's go to our visual studio and let's demonstrate the same example so let me just open that so there you go you can see that i have already configured my flat file source so i expect you guys you know you already know how to configure this flat file source in case if you don't know how to configure it then you can go and watch our previous videos where we have shown you like how to configure this flat file source component and how to create the project and everything okay guys so now let me just show you that preview so you can see that the same data is there you know which we were discussing here okay right guys now what we will do so definitely uh, we need a lookup component now okay so what we will do let's go to our ssis toolbox so you can see that let's drag and drop the lookup component now guys let's come back here again now if you see that we have a customer name but we need a customer id here so similarly we have a country name over here you can see that us but in our destination table we need a country id fk okay similarly we have a state name over here but in our destination table we need a foreign key id for states similarly for products also we need a foreign key id so you can see that here we have the product name here we have the sales name so we need at least 1 2 3 4 5 so we need total 5 foreign key id okay so for one to get the one foreign key id we need a one lookup component so if we have a five foreign key id to look up it okay so then for five uh, columns we need we will use five lookup components okay so let me just drag and drop five here so 2 3 4 five okay so there you go so let's place it like this that's great cool wow perfect so there you go so now what we will do let's rename this one so i will say customer lookup right let me just double click on it so let's say double click on it and here you can see that we have something called as cache mode so now guys we will cover this cache mode in our upcoming videos so there we are going to separately talk about 
lookup component and its different types of cache mode and how the caching works so we have the full cache we have the partial cache we have the no cache so at what time which cache mode to use we will discuss in our separate video so stay updated with my channel guys to get the notification of my newly updated videos on lookup and msbi or power bi videos now for now in this video let's only uh, configure via this full cache mode and let's go to our connection and there you go so let me just click on this new so there you go guys you can see that so let me just select my database here as schema db1 i will say ok here and here i am going to select the table as dim customer ok so this is my master table dim customer now I am going into my columns here. So there you go. So what I will do here, let me match this customer name with this customer name. There you go. You can see that. Okay. So now what output we want here, we want only the customer ID because we want this customer ID to be inserted as a foreign key ID in our fact table, right? So what I will do, let me just rename this as customer ID FK there you go right so we are done now let's say okay so there you go so the moment we say okay you can see that there is no cross mark sign over here okay now let me just select this and you can see that let me just connect this input selection to the new lookup component you can see that so the customer lookup component is throwing the output and let's match that output you can see that only the matching record to this newly input selection okay so i'll say okay here so there you go now similarly what we want here we want country name okay so let's configure for country name also so let me just say this lookup component as country lookup okay so similarly this is like a state lookup similarly we will have product lookup and then we will have sales lookup okay so let's configure it one by one so let's double click it connection table and here let's select the dim country column so let's select it country name with the country name country id as output and here let's rename it country id fk i will say okay there you go let me select this here matching output only double click connection the table is state table column so there you go match the state name with this state name and get the state id as output underscore fk there you go ok similarly product so let's do that double click connection dim product you can see that column match the product name with this product name output product id underscore fk i will say ok and finally to the sales so there you go you can see that guys okay we are done so let's format it properly so there you go and now finally we require the destination to load all this record into our destination table that is our fact table so for that let's go here to our destination section and let's drag and drop the idio.net destination so there you go so let's me keep it here now let's connect here there you go only the match output please okay double click 
so connection manager new there you go schema db i will select i will say ok here so the fact table mapping so let's do the mapping here so there you go and uh, there you go let's make this order amount as this one customer amount order date is the sales date i will say ok there you go we are done guys right so let me save it and now let me just run it okay so before we run it what we will do let's go here and let's check if any data over here so you can see that we have some records here so what i will do let me just truncate this there you go right so if any data is there let's check that no records as you can see that right so now let's go here and now let's run the program so you can see that my execution is started perfect as you can see that eight rows from the source input data from the source csv file and the lookup is happening you can see that all the matching record and went into this destination table perfectly let me just stop this and let's check the records so execute wow perfect you can see that right now in case if you want to match it you can see that this 1001 you can see that adil is 1001 you can see that perfectly came then let's talk about this third one kingsley so you can see that kingsley is having the 1003 that is my third record so let's check that there you go you can see that guys all the records came perfectly over here so guys this is how you have to configure the lookup component i hope you understand it okay so hey guys this is all about the lookup component and its working process with the practical example step by step i hope you guys liked it if you guys really liked our video then show us your love by liking this video and please do subscribe to our channel because your one like and one subscribe keep us motivated to create more videos on MSBI and Power BI. So guys thank you very much and in our next upcoming video we are going to see the lookup caching mode and its types of caching modes available in the lookup component that is this one full cache mode partial cache mode and no cache mode so thank you guys thank you very much see you in our next video